Hey there, this is Niels Beardfoot and today we are making a strawberry bag from leather. Get your pattern printed and cut out. For leather we want to use 2.5mm batch tent leather. Moisten it, transfer the pattern and cut it out. To get the imprint of the seeds, I recommend you an oval hole punch. But we don't want to punch all the way through, just about half the way. We use this as a replacement for a swivel knife. And now we use a beveler to tool along this cut edge. For additional decoration I draw a parallel line and add some camouflage tools at the top. We also need some sewing holes, so we punch them here along the edge. And the important part is this, that on all the pieces they are exactly the same. Also we want to bevel the edges to prepare them for burnishing. While the leather is still moist we use this time to give it some rough shaping. And this is it for the strawberry itself. Now we go on to the leaves on top. For the decorations on the leaves you don't necessarily need a swivel knife, but you can use it. But also just a beveler does the job. Also we need to punch some holes here as well. This area here will overlap, so it is a good idea to thin it out a little bit. Next is dyeing. I'm using my airbrush and start with a bright red color and go with some mahogany and black along the edges after that. On the leaves it's kind of the same. I start with green and then go with some dark brown along the edges. And I also dye the flesh side of the leather. To make the seeds of the strawberry pop, I use some yellow acrylic paint and paint them all. Not coloring all of the seed completely is totally fine, since it's enough to give the impression of a slightly lighter color here. I use some resist as finish all over the leather to protect it and also cover the edges to use the moisture for burnishing. So we can start assembling now everything and we start with the body of the strawberry and simply sew it together. By sewing the pieces pull themselves into place and give it the shape that we want. But you also can reshape it a little if you need. For the leaves we use rivets. We got here this overlapping part and put a rivet in to hold it in place for now and then add the additional layer on top. Here it's very important that the holes on the leaf tips of the bigger part and also the holes between the leaves on the smaller part align. Next we get our straps and here I add some pressure buttons on the ends as closure on both sides. To attach these straps on the leaves we now need these holes from earlier that have to align. We put some rivets in and set them. To attach both pieces together we have two holes on the leaves at the far end and we put both pieces together, position the holes and mark it and punch a hole for a rivet. Now 
Now, before putting in the closure on the other side, I recommend you to moisten the leaves and give them some leafy shape and make sure they fit exactly on the body of the strawberry. Now, when everything is dried again, as before, mark a hole, punch it and there, set your closure. I like to use the Sam Brown rivet here and I put on some glue as screw stopper. And this is it. A small simple bag for your project fitting for also beginners. Please note that I here made the strawberry on 80% scale, so when you do 100% scale, it will be just a little bit larger, just as the acorn bag that I did. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Have a great day!